Hello, I'm Ron Marinchin, Coordinator of Music Ministries at Trinity Lutheran Church in Ashland. For our devotions this day, let us use the Suffrages for Mourning, or the uh, Response of Prayer 1, as it's called in the Green Lutheran Book of Worship, on page 161, if you have it available. If you have the Red Evangelical Lutheran Worship, it's similar to what's found on page 322. I'm uh, sorry, 328. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy and hear us. Let us pray the prayer our Lord has given us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us confess the faith which we hold in common, using the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. O Lord, I cry to you for help. In the morning my prayer comes before you. Give me the joy of your saving help again, and sustain me with your bountiful spirit. Let my mouth be full of your praise and your glory all the day long. Every day will I bless you and praise your name forever and ever. Awesome things will you show us in your righteousness, O God of our salvation, O hope of all the ends of the earth and of the seas that are far away. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. He redeems my life from the grave and crowns me with mercy and loving kindness. Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come before you. Today is Thursday, February 25th. And yesterday, the 24th, was a special commemoration day in the church, a day when we remember the 13th apostle, whose name was Matthias. If his name is a little fuzzy to you, you may want to check out Acts 1, 15 to 26. Acts 1, 15 to 26. After the resurrection, the remaining 12 or 11 disciples decided to add another longtime follower of Jesus to the 12 to replace Judas, and Matthias was chosen. He had traveled among the followers of Jesus throughout the Lord's ministry and was deemed a faithful witness to all that had occurred. By the way, other denominations move Matthias' celebration to May 14th to put it closer to the time of Christ's ascension. Today, let's use Psalm 56, the psalm appointed for whenever we remember St. Matthias. Listen for the verse near the end, My vows to you I must perform, O God. Psalm 56. Be gracious to me, O God, for people trample on me. All day long foes oppress me. My enemies trample on me all day long, for many fight against me. O Most High, when I am afraid, I put my trust in you. In God, whose word I praise. In God I trust. I am not afraid. What can flesh do to me? All day long they seek to injure my cause. All their thoughts are against me for evil. They stir up strife. They lurk. They watch my steps. 
as they hoped to have my life, so repay them for their crime. In wrath cast down the peoples, O God. You have kept count of my tossings. Put my tears in your bottle. Are they not in your record? Then my enemies will retreat in the day when I call. This I know, that God is for me. In God, whose word I praise, in the Lord, whose word I praise, in God I trust. I am not afraid. What can a mere mortal do to me? My vows to you I must perform, O God. I will render thank offerings to you. For you have delivered my soul from death and my feet from falling, so that I might walk before God in the light of life. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. O God, when our path is hard and dangerous, listen to our lamentation, and receive our tears in your embrace. Let your word of promise and the gift of baptism be our trust, our hope, and our praise, and lead us again into the light of the living. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. We thank you, O God, for all your servants and witnesses of times past, for Abraham and Sarah, Moses and Miriam, Deborah and Gideon, Samuel and Hannah, for Isaiah and the prophets, for Mary, mother of our Lord, for Mary Magdalene, Peter, Paul, and for all the apostles, for Stephen and Phoebe, and for all the martyrs and saints in every time and in every land. In your mercy, give us, as you gave them, the hope of salvation and the promise of eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Almighty God, you chose your faithful servant Matthias to be numbered among the twelve. Grant that your church, being delivered from false apostles, may always be taught and guided by faithful and true pastors. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Almighty and merciful God, source of all life, health, and healing, look with compassion on our world brought low by disease. Protect us in the midst of the grave challenges that assail us, and in your fatherly providence grant recovery to the stricken, strength to those who care for them, and success to those working to eradicate this scourge. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. We give thanks to you, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have protected us through the night from all danger and harm. We ask you to preserve and keep us this day also from all sin and evil, that in all our thoughts, words, and deeds we may serve and please you. Into your hands we commend our bodies and souls and all that is ours. Let your holy angels have charge of us, that the wicked one have no power over us. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty order our days and our deeds in his peace and grant us rest. Amen.